New Zealand's favourite naturopath, Lani Lopez, is back and talking natural remedies and supplements for sore joints. Hi, Lani. Hello. Now, first of all, I must ask you, why do your joints always hurt more in winter? <laughs> Let me list the multiple reasons. One of the reasons is circulation. So we have poor circulation in, in the winter and that causes more inflammatory chemicals. So you really want to get the circulation going. Okay, so and you're, you're less active too. Yeah, there's a lot of couch time in winter, I will be honest That's there. True. So what can you do then? What sort of natural remedies can you take? Well, uh, turmeric is one of my favourites because it is anti-inflammatory and studies show that it works like a COX-2 inhibitor. And certainly, um, so some oils do that too. COX-2 inhibitors are like um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, ibuprofen. Okay. So they are really good for the pain, but the problem is if you keep taking them long term, they actually inhibit the way that the body heals itself. Ah, it's okay. a catch-22. Right, and also they start giving all sorts of stomach problems too, for if you go some, on too long. For some people, and asthma for some. And, you know, fair enough, people want to take painkillers because it hurts so much. Mm. So here are some natural painkillers. So turmeric you can take. How much turmeric should you take? Oh, you can take... Day, That's like... a, such a good question. You can take anything from 500 milligrams to 30 grams daily, depending on how long you take turmeric for. Okay, so you should be taking it in a pill, not just sprinkling a little bit on your food. No, That's I... not going to really cut it, or uh, you can sprinkle it on your food, you cook it, in, cook it in your food. I boil it up with ginger and honey and all these. I was going to bring some in today, and I thought, oh no, I make you drink terrible things all the I time. I had a turmeric latte as I was getting my makeup put on today, and it was absolutely delicious. I loved it. So it's okay. So the turmeric, yes. And what yeah, else? You switched me on to turmeric lattes too, by the way. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. very good. Um, the fish oil is also very good because it's anti-inflammatory. And I was just going through the supermarket because have you ever heard of the term lost leader? No. Okay. Um, lost leader means companies like this have fish oil, glucosamine, and some other vitamin C, and they sell it at a really, really low price, then you go and buy it, and then hopefully you'll buy all their, their other products and become a loyal member. Oh, okay. So that's okay. why fish oil is so cheap. I mean, you can get um, a bottle like this for um, $30, wow. 15 to $30 I've been pricing them at. Well, I, I did notice too that your fish oil, it's mint flavoured fish oil, yeah. which is interesting because I find that it always makes me burp up fish. It's disisgusting. Whenever I take any sort of omega-3 like tablet, it always makes you have that sort of nasty aftertaste. It's really, really common and sometimes it be, can, can be because of the rancidity. So it would be great to have New Zealand fish and choose that fish oil. And, yeah. But a lot of this fish oil comes from China, but it's all been tested for the PCBs, which are the bad things in there. Okay. And you really want to look at the use-by date and make sure you're getting a fresh batch. So use the this competitiveness of the brands, get your leader, if you like, and um, get your fish oil at a cheap rate. It, they're all pretty generic and they do the same thing. Okay, well that's really good to know and glucosamine obviously another very good one to take but we can talk about that another day because uh, I've got multiple joints in my body that hurt, Lani, so thank you very much. Uh, if you want more helpful information on this and many other complaints, you can head along to Lani's website, lanilopez.com.